Hey there, everybody. Good morning. You almost caught me getting a sip of coffee this morning. <laughs> but, hey, that's not so bad, is it? Grab, in fact, why don't you do the very same thing? Grab your cup of coffee and join me for the next seven minutes or so. Got a great quote to get the week started this week. But before we get to that, a little bit of housekeeping. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for this installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. And uh, so happy to have you here. If you would do me the favor when you get here, whether you watch the show live or watch it on the replay, do what Joe just did. Drop a comment down there. Say hi. Say hello. Say, what's that red chicken sitting back there in the background? <laughs> yeah, there it is. And, uh, hey, if you happen to be listening to this in your favorite podcast catcher off of iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, wherever you happen to hear it, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you the right Facebook page. Join the conversation that's going on there. And, hey, since it's Monday, I'm going to go ahead and give you an early reminder. Catch me on the radio show tomorrow, Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. More about that coming up in the morning. All right, one more sip. I'm still fighting off this allergy cough thing. It is about to drive me nuts. As um, <coughs> as we'll learn from our quote of the day today, I kind of like being in control. Anyway, uh, today's quote comes from uh, one of my favorites. I think I would call him a business philosopher, maybe even a life philosopher, especially in this respect. Jim Rohn. Um. Tony Robbins mentor, one of them, actually. So here's the quote. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Think about that for just a minute. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Now, when I share these kinds of quotes or thoughts about, you know, you can only have one priority a day and, you know, stuff like that, I get a lot of pushback from folks that, that say, well, that probably works great for some people. Oh, here's the other one that I get a lot of pushback on. Don't open your email till 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, that probably works really well for some people, but it would never work for me because it's never going to work for you until you want it to work for you. Structure your day. The whole point of today's quote, either you run the day or the day runs you, is to structure your day so that you are pursuing your success. Now, you can still do that in the context of working for someone else. You can do it in the context of having your own business. You can do it in the context of leading someone else's business. So it doesn't matter whether you're an owner, leader, or an employee. You get to structure your day. Now, maybe that means you have to do what I do. Get up at 5 o'clock in the morning so that you've got a couple of hours every morning. I mean, think about it this way. If your alarm is set for 30 minutes before you need to leave the house and you oversleep, your day has begun in crisis. But if it's set for two hours before you need to leave and you oversleep a little bit, no problem. You still get to have a couple of cups of coffee before you go. Or tea or water or all the above. Whatever floats your boat, right? <clears throat> the whole point here is that if you don't run your day, I mean, how many of you have had, have, have had this, well, it's, it's just one of those days. You got up late, you got out, I mean, you're running late already, you get out to the car and you got a flat tire. Or you forgot that you're on, it's Monday today, so maybe you forgot to get gas over the weekend. Or uh, you're trying to get the kids in the car so you can get them to school and they can't find their homework. Or whatever. That cough, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> it's going to be the end of me. If you begin your day in crisis, then the rest of your day just seems to pile on. But, <clears throat> as my good friend Kent Julian says, if you lead your day from quiet, then the rest of the day is under your control. Start every day with a victory. Get up every morning and make the bed. Even if you have to do like I do and just pull the sheets up. <laughs> Count making the bed is just pulling the sheets up. It's a victory. And you're starting every day with a win. 
Either you run the day or the day runs you. Think about that as you go through your day and every decision you're making. Am I running the day or is the day running me? That's it. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the show up. You guys have a magnificent Monday. Remember, we'll be back here again in the morning, 7 a.m. Central Time, for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.